In 1988, the United Church of Canada declared that all persons, regardless of sexual orientation, were welcome to become full members of the Church, and as such were eligible to be considered for ministry. In 2015, the 42nd General Council voted to support a national project to gather and share stories from across the Church about how people were affected by the 1988 decision. These stories will help us determine whether we need to apologize to LGBTQ people as a church, and if so, what shape that apology might take and how we can live it out. We need to hear all of your stories. And so, in September of this year, Irides, the Living Apology Project, was launched. This project will gather stories from before, during, and after the 88 decision, stories that will include joy and welcome, also pain, alienation, stories of betrayal, stories of new life. We need to hear all of your stories. Together, our stories reveal where God is pushing us as a church, how we are being called and challenged, confronted and comforted, and what God is calling us to do and be. As we listen to each other's stories, our compassion for one another will be deepened. We will discern how we can begin to heal the brokenness and also celebrate how the Spirit is moving among us. So if you have a story that you want to share, we need to hear it. You can share your story anonymously if you prefer. You can write it down. You can perform it and record it. It might be artwork, collage, a drawing, even a dance. However you want to express your truth and your story, we want to receive it. And all of these stories will be shared on the Irides website. Irides is also going to be traveling the country, so you'll have an opportunity to share and to hear stories in person. You can go to the website to find out when Irides will be in your area and to find out how you can participate.